Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional. And today we're here to review the Mares Jewel Wetsuit. You can see there's a lot of it. This whole studio is covered in this wetsuit because there's two pieces to it. So let's just clean up and make some space. I'm just going to move our legs out the way over there so we can have a closer look at the top section. So the Mares Jewel suit is exactly that. Jewel. Two pieces. Piece for the bottom, piece for the top. So we're going to look at the top piece first and then jump on to the second. It's a 5 mil suit the whole way through. So over the chest when you've got both on, you've got up to a centimeter of neoprene. So that'll really keep you warm if you're diving in chilly waters. So just to open it up and have a look. The Mara's Jewel is a front zip over here. It's got a great built-in hoodie. It's got uh, what's referred to as a graphite seal at the top over here and that's on all the legs and arms. It's got this graphite type paint they refer to it as. That just seals up quite well and keeps you nice and warm. And then uh, the hoodie's got that around the, the neck. The hoodie zips up the side and then up the side of your chin. Quite often people say, well when it's zipped up I can't put my regulator in my mouth. Well, what you need to do is leave it zipped down at the start of the dive and as you go deeper and the neoprene compresses, you can start to zip it up more and more and more to keep you warm. You don't want the suit to be loose when you're diving because then you get really cold. There's my little top tip just in case you're wondering. So back down to the suit, it's a front zip. There's a number of panels across the, the suits as well. Uh, Mara's got these really cool red panels and a few gray panels in it as accents as well. They look really cool. You can't choose the colors. The colors are set as far as the suit's concerned. The suit also comes in a dual men's and a dual she dive or lady suit. The main difference being bumps for the men's where men need the bumps and bumps for the girls where the girls need the bumps. So it's cut slightly differently to make it more comfortable for you guys. Um, there is a tail at the bottom. You see this little like duck tail at the side over there. For the men's it comes straight over. On the ladies, the strap comes over the side of the crotch line to make it a lot more comfortable and easier to get on and off when you're on the boat and it works on a buckle system. It's got, you see that little guy, hold it up to the camera and then there's the little port on the inside there. I know it's a bit difficult with the lighting in the studio, but it would just fold in and that's what keeps it nice and secure. It's a full long arm as well with the graphite seal as we discussed. If we flip the guy over to the back, it's one big solid panel across the back two silver little accents a number of panels down the bottom just to allow for the shape and curvature of the hips and bum um, and then just your normal hoodie at the top where Mara's is also really cool is they have a number of holes so where these three little accent uh, curves are there's a hole in front of each one it is not a defect nobody stuck a toothpick in there by accident this is there to allow the air bubbles to come out the top when you breathe from a regulator always air travels up the side of your face and inside your hood and if you don't have these little bubbles you wind up running around like a weird little cone head underwater which is quite funny but uh, this helps drain it out there so it's not a defect it's there by design which is great so there's our there's our review of the top section I'm just going to move this guy out of the shot and we can pull in the pants so the bottom section is a farmer john so you can see it just goes over the shoulders there's a zip down the front over here which makes it easier to step in um, there is a semi dry open cell neoprene section on the side of the zip which just helps reduce the amount of water coming in and out of the suit itself it's the short cutoff arms good quality that Mario's have got here is the fact that it is double stitched so there's an extra piece of material and it's stitched over just for the high wear and tear areas so if you were diving in warmer yeah, warmer waters and you just wanted a rash vest and just a main core section, you could wear this. You don't have to wear the top. If you find you got cold, you could pop the top on. So back to the suit. A few panels down the, the legs, making it quite ergonomic and comfortable. Mares have put these funky pads on the front. It's like a painted rubber top seal paint that they've put on that's just to protect the knees from any wear that might happen if you're traveling on a boat kneeling down on a beach or should you occasionally rub up against the coral which we never do on purpose but it might just happen this will just protect the suit over there and then at the bottom we've got these graphite seals over the ankles which just adds a little bit more waterproofing. The, some water will get in the suit, you all sort of trap it up, that's what warms it up, but this reduces the amount of flow of the, the water itself. So that's the front section of the suit, if we pop it over to the back, 
the back is very very plain just a number of panels with the gray stitching all in around top tip from me guys for any wet seat that you have if you realize that the stitching has started to run for whatever reason you've nicked it on the boat or you've rubbed it against the bcd and you see it running if you just go take a dab of clear nail varnish and pop that on that'll stop that running if you let it run too far although it's been glued it may come apart so to catch it just like a stocking a little blob of of a uh, nail varnish clear clear nail varnish will stop that right up or if you've got any form of say aqua seal or neoprene glue you can just dab that on to stop it from running that's what gives you the extra few years out of your suit just those catching those little things other thing that warriors have done at the bottom of their suits over here is they have double stitched it so there is a join on this section over here they've stitched it and they've re-stitched it just to give this ankle a little bit more protection and durability my advice to you guys with all wetsuits is to put them over your ankles carefully so if you're rushing for a dive and you try to force your foot in there as quick as you can as your heel comes through it tends to catch this back section over there and that can burst the stitching all the manufacturers see this as user abuse and they won't warranty it so my advice is just put it on slowly even if you're in a rush and we know you're a little bit clammy so the wetsuit can stick you know, it's always better to be a bit more careful. You can use the old surface trick where you take a plastic packet, a checkers packet or a Woolworths packet, put it over your hands and feet and that'll slide it in. It's a great way to recycle old packets, never throw them away and never let them wind up in the ocean. So there's the the top little tip on how to get in the suit itself. So the Mara is dual two-piece suit. Here's the bottom section, short on the arms, front zip, comfortable to get into. We'll move that out the shot and then bring our top back in for the last review. The top section's got long arms with the graphite seals at the bottom. The hoodie section, which is nice and big, permanently connected so you can zip it up. It's a side zip, goes up the side of your face. Lots of little panels as well as the little dovetail at the bottom over there, which uh, folds around. So this goes at the bottom and then the jacket goes on over the top giving you a lot of neoprene and this is a very versatile suit. I find a lot of the guys that are doing the career development courses in the Sedwana Bay and Durban areas are using these because they're doing a lot of diving. Even though the water can be quite warm, if you're doing two, three dives a day consistently over a long period, you get that core chill and it really helps to have a thicker bit of neoprene to keep you nice and warm when you're out on a dive. So there's my review of the Mares Dual Wetsuits, a slightly more expensive suit, but that's because of the amount of neoprene and amount of wetsuit that you get. Mares makes some really good quality suits, and this is a good all-rounder for South African conditions. If you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or go check out all our social streams. We've got the Twitters, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, and every new one that's possibly going to come our way in the future, we're going to be there. Just give scuba.coz a search on all of those and all of our funky, cool things will come up. We're away on trips quite often, so you're welcome to come join us on any of those. Drop us a mail or just stay up to date on our social stuff because it would be really great to have you guys come out on a dive with us. And remember our wetsuits. Hey, our wetsuits on our website are always at the best possible price. So that's it from me, guys, and I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.